Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen, and today I'm going to talk about all the extra things I do for my skin. Uh, four weeks ago, I put in, I put up a video, it was my morning and my evening skincare, and these are just the extra things I do. And none of them are rocket science, and in fact, I really kind of think I'm a little bit of a slacker, but that's okay. I just try to do things quickly and easily. I'm going to have some demonstrations on what, on some of the things I do. And I do have some, I think, really good comparison footage. I was able to save my raw footage to compare. It was eight months ago until now. So I'm, I'm kind of excited about that because it actually turned out pretty decent. I'm also going to talk about what I am going to do moving forward with my skincare. But I wanna go with my very favorite thing first, and that is shaving my face. I have been shaving my face for five years and I look forward to it. I shave my face every other Sunday. For me, what works best is I cleanse my face and I make sure it's dry and I don't put anything on my face and I'll go ahead and share the demo. I do shave downwards and at about at a 45 degree angle and it is always my intention not to go over the same area, but sometimes I do. Any type of razor can be used. The traditional razor, you know, that you use for your legs, uh, it can be used, but it hasn't worked for me. I like the Shiseido razors. I've tried them all with the exception of, I haven't ever tried the rechargeable one that has the disposable razors. What the shaving does, it removes the hair and it removes the dead skin it allows my makeup to go on much smoother. And I use a lot of powder foundations and it just looks a lot better. Skin care will penetrate better because I don't have the dead skin on there anymore. I have like two or three areas where I will get a weird hair and it grows back, but no quicker than it did before. So it hasn't changed my the hair on my face in any way. At the end of this section, I did capture the hair and the dead skin cells on a black cloth, and I was so surprised to see the results. I will give you a warning to shut your eyes if something bothers you like this, and I'll tell you when to open it up. I know the reason I had so much more is that the week before when I used my enzyme pill, it was too harsh and I took it right off. So I would go ahead and shut my eyes. Okay, now you can open your eyes. For me, what I love about this is it is instant gratification. After I put water on my face, after, you know, after I shave it, my skin just automatically looks better. It does get a little bit red, so that's why I always do this like late Sunday afternoon but I do it every other Sunday and I truly was shocked with the amount of debris I got from my face. That, that was that was shocking. I almost didn't put it up, but you know me, I'm gonna just put it out there. There are many wonderful razors, which I mentioned about mentioned before. I, I'm, not, I'm not affiliated at all with Shiseido. I just like the actual razor. I get at least two uses of this, for this and that, that's a month. And I think they're usually like three for $5. I clean it in between uses and sometimes I'll get start a third but what I do is I clean it and then I use it for just right up the inside of my nose I just go around it you don't want to go very high up because you need the nostril hair and you don't and you don't want to tweeze or pull hair from your nose that's not healthy that's not good for us but that's what I use this for and then I clean it in between so on the Sundays I'm not shaving my face I use a gentle enzymatic peel I have three that I like and I use because I try them out this I've used for a long time. It is the Mizon Apple Smoothie Peeling Gel. This is the one, I'll type the name. I'll put links down below. I can't read anything on this, nor on this. So I know they're all Asian skincare items. But what I do is like I try them and then I buy what the least expensive. I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand. Whoops, that's a lot. And what you do, you just start rubbing it in. There may not be any dead skin on my hands, but on my face there usually is. And you just rub it around and around and around. And I go gently, and then you'll get like little, what I call them, nurdles, little pieces of skin, and you just rinse them off. But I just got out of the bathtub, and I always make sure that, you know, I really brush my hands. So that's how that works. But I do that the Sunday that I don't shave. 
I still use the Clarisonic two nights a week, and there, I, it's not like any special night. It's just when my face kind of feels like it. I don't know what I'm going to do when I can't get the brush heads. I did order some r true Clarisonic ones online after they quit making Clarisonic, but I really like it. And if anybody's used the kind of the generic heads, let me know your thoughts. But I, I don't need any brushes for a while, but I still use this. About twice a month, I use a spatula. This is good, but I don't know that I would replace it. I do enjoy using it. What I do first, I put a warm washcloth on my face and I just kind of let it sit there. And then I put some warm water in a spritz bottle. And then I go into my dressing room and I will, you have to have the area sprayed. And this one has like lifting, moisturizing and cleansing. And I always use the cleansing. And I just very gently go around my nose right through here. And I just lift it up. I don't have any makeup on, but I don't think I could do a good demonstration and you have to have, and it has to be wet, but I do like it. But something that you have at home that you could use that is doesn't really cost anything, if you have a stainless steel smooth spoon, and usually something a little bit narrower, I meant to get a true teaspoon, but I didn't, you can warm your face with the washcloth, and you can take this, and you can just go over the areas very gently. And what that does, it kind of, it cleans the congestion out of your pores, and that's what I get. I get like little brown dots on my nose and all it is, they're not blackhead, it's just pores that need to be cleaned out. I used to use tools like this, but the older I get, the more gentle I am with my skin. They're, I'm not sure what these, this, I'm not sure what these are called. They may be called blackhead extractors, I'm not sure, but you just put them next to your skin in that area and press, but I'm just afraid I don't want to tear my skin, so I don't I don't use it. I just use a spatula, and I, I don't know if I would repurchase another one. Not sure. I bought mine at Amazon. It also says you can use it to drive in your serums, but I've never done that before. Something that has been, for me, very, very beneficial when, while I am assessing my skin is my good old Floxite 15 times magnification mirror. And all of you who've been here for quite a long time, you know how much I really like this. This sits on my vanity and I get, I'll show you how close you have to get. I bend down and get that close. And I tell you what, I can examine my skin so well. Through the day, if I do it through the day, I do not use the light. There's a little round light, and I'll put a picture up here. If I turn it this way, it'll be distorted. That's how I know what's been working for my skin and what hasn't. The only other time I use this is to tweeze my eyebrows. But, you know, I can check and see the growth of my lashes. I can check and see my eyebrows. I can see when my pores need to get, and I can see my wrinkles. And it doesn't bother me a bit, because you know what? There's a lot of good benefits about getting older. I bought mine in 2006 before I started doing skincare on a routine basis. And I was 57 when I started. So I've been doing skincare for 10 years, but the last seven have been my favorite. On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I use the Grande Lash and the Grande Brow. If I used it more often, I could get a lot longer eyelashes. I am not married to the Grande Lash, although I think it's really good but I am married to the Grande Brow. I, I, I love not doing anything to my eyebrows. Probably should, but, but I don't have to, and that, that's a good thing for me. Now I'm gonna talk about derma rolling, and some of you won't wanna watch this, but some of you will. I started with derma rolling my lips, and I did a ton of research before I started, because I am not gonna do anything that hurts me. I, I'm not, I, I will stop anything that I'm doing if I think it has a negative effect. You know, I talked to my family doctor. You can find dermatologists and master estheticians, different varying opinions on everything. But what I do is I do a conservative approach. I only use the 0.25 millimeter on my face and the 0.5, and I just use that once a month. So after I had good results from using the derma roller on my lips, I started doing it here and here and here and here, did that for a while, and then I started my eyebrows to get the tail back. I, it didn't really do much for this area, but it did help with the tails. And then I started using it on my 11s, and I'll tell you in a little bit what I'm doing now. But I'm going to talk about derma rolling my scalp 
first. I'm going to point to an area in my demonstration. These areas right here, I don't do anymore. I've had this, oh, I don't know, all my life that I can remember. It's just, I don't know what you even call it. It's kind of like in the temples. and You can make those really cute little curls with them. But anyway, um, I quit doing that because they got longer and I didn't know what to do with them. So I quit that area. In the past, I have tried all different kinds of shampoos that promised thickness and shampoos and conditioner. And I had decent results from them. I was pleased because I really had lost a lot of hair. But this is so easy. It's one minute every time I shampoo. And I'll go ahead and show you what I do. I use a derma roller on my scalp every time I wash my hair, except for the very first time I wash my hair in the month. And I do something a little bit different then. But it doesn't, it takes me like one minute to do this. I make sure my hair is wet and I hold my hair down and I just go back. And I may go over an area four times, but it has really improved the thickness of my hair. I was on a quest since I think right before I started my channel, I had some re really major hair loss and I had tried all different kinds of shampoos, all, everything. I tried so many different things and nothing worked until I did this. I can also use my derma roller as a stamp and I usually use a 0.75 millimeter or a one millimeter on my scalp. After I'm done, I use, I think that's Nutriox, that's all I've used. I don't even know that you need to use that. I just think by just derma rolling the area on your head that that would work. But you also work it in. And I still use the Pantene Age Defy leave-in treatment. I know, I don't think you can buy it anymore, but as long as I have it, I'm going to be using it. You just massage it in your scalp. I haven't noticed anything about hair growth, but I think what it does for me, I think it stimulates the follicles and I have not had to use root cover up. Well, probably in six years, I just, uh, I, I've been very, very pleased with the results. And the reason I don't use a derma roller on my scalp the first time I wash my hair in the month, because that's when I use the Color Wow. And one bottle of this will last over a year and I love it. It keeps my hair from being really frizzy. I could use it more often than once a month, but that's all it seems like I need. And I, I may use it more often in the summer, but I may not. I may just wear it up on those days that I need it. I don't know, we'll just see. And now I'm gonna talk about derma rolling my face. I just use the rollers and I, because I tell you what, it, they're no hassle to me. You know, I've been tempted to buy the pens, but there's just too much to, worry about you know do I have the right size do I need to order what happens if they quit me making you know you know what I'm talking about so that's why I stick with the rollers and I don't get the interchangeable heads I buy two separate rollers because I don't want it to pop off I have not had any trouble but I am very gentle you'll be able to see in the demonstration I don't press hard and I'm not going to press hard and I take 10 milligrams of Coumadin every day my blood is supposed to be thin, and it is. That's why you see bruises all over me. But I've never brought blood to the surface. And I can tell when my needles start to not feel the same. I'm very careful with my derma roller. That's a 0.25. After I'm done derma rolling, I will take this and I will rinse it under hot water, kind of shake it, and then I spray it down with alcohol. And then the part that I'm super, I clean this also. But what I'm super careful about is putting it back in the container because the secret is you don't want to dull any of the needles. And in the past, I've been told that you can use denture uh, tablets. And I thought, well, I don't always, I don't want to put mine in a glass because I don't want to dull it. And Penn Smith, I saw her, she put a cotton pad in the bottom and then did it. But so you can do it any way you want, but you want to be careful with the needles. So, you know, I use the 0.5 once a month. It's gonna last me 10 months. I know it is. I mean, if, if it would start feeling funny, I would get a new one, but I always make sure I have backups. Now, if I have, if I have breakouts, or if I was somebody who was prone to fever blisters or scars to their skin, you know, I would wanna talk to somebody before I started. I would wanna talk to a dermatologist and see if you were a candidate I think best case scenario is if you could go and have it done 
professionally one time and then you could see how it feels because people say how hard do you press I just roll I just roll and and you'll see that my face does get red but it doesn't hurt at all every other Sunday I use a derma roller on my face and I usually do this in the afternoon and today I'm going to be de demonstrating with the 0 0.25 millimeter and I pick my roller up and go over it I don't roll it back and forth I don't especially like on my face and since the last time I did an update I have started doing it on my face I had only used it on certain areas but I'm going over my whole face my preference is the 192 real needle derma roller that is made of stainless steel that's just what my favorite is and I have been derma rolling some part of my face for probably, I think, going on six years. I ne first person I ever heard mention derma rolling was Chris Ann at Confora. And she doesn't make videos any anymore, but I wish she did. The person that made me want to derma roll my lips was Beauty by Anne Marie. And I do derma roll my scalp. And, and that was Elle from Elle is for Living. I, I wouldn't have thought of doing it without these people and I've been really pleased with the results. I really do try to make things as simple as possible and this routine has been so easy for me. The first Sunday of every month I use a 0.5 millimeter derma roller and the rest of the Sundays it's the 0.25. You can get collagen production with the 0.5 the 0 0.25, which I use most of the time, does not produce collagen. It just makes little tiny channels. And I used to use the 0 0.5 more often, but I heard from Penn Smith Skincare, and I'm gonna link, I'm gonna link all these channels below, that you really only need to use the 0.5 once a month or every four weeks. So that's what I do. And and I've really been pleased. You can see my skin is getting red. It does not hurt a bit. It does not, even the 0 0.5 doesn't hurt. And I have never brought blood to the surface nor had any type of problem. If I had any type of problems, I would stop whatever I'm doing because my health means so much more to me than, than anything else. The, Z, the 0.25 millimeter is effective for boosting skincare products for the rapid to, to absorb your products rapidly. I don't do it for that. And and going forward, I am going to change it up a little bit. Every Sunday, no matter if I use the 0.5 or the 0.25, all I do is I put some Matrixel 3000 on my skin afterwards. And that is all that I do. When I go to bed, that's when I put it on the cacao oil and I put that on my face once a week and that is all. I'm not tempted at all to go any deeper than a 0.5 millimeter. My derma rolling takes five minutes, five minutes every Sunday and I'm okay with that. You know I just started doing uh, my face the, all over my face and I really think that it has helped. I'm going to put in some footage comparing my skin now to last October. Even though I've lost weight and I'm eight months older I really am pleased with the results. I think the actual skin on my face is better, but I do notice that my marionette lines are worse. I kind of think this is due to weight loss, but it may just be general aging and that's okay. My most recent footage, I am closer to the camera and I think that's a lot harder. You know, I mean, like if I get up to the closer to the camera, my skin's going to look worse. So I was really pleased with that. I kept the raw footage and I'm keeping this raw footage because going forward what I'm going to do, I'm going to try my best to use the 0.25 on Wednesdays, work that into my Wednesday routine. And I'm going to start, you know, just like right now. And then I'll have footage to compare to see if it does help. The 0.25 is what they call cosmetic needling, micro needling. It, it's meant to help your skincare penetrate, your serums, whatever it is that can penetrate, that you want to penetrate, that's what it's used for. But, but by doing the 0.25 every Sunday, it keeps me in the routine. This is what I do on Sunday. I'm not perfect on when it comes to my face. You know, you're supposed to go this way, this way, this way, this way. 
I just do a couple. You saw what I did. It, it, it's not hard, but I think it's been I think it's been beneficial. And if you're still here, this is going to be a giveaway. And I am going to provide the giveaway, the gifts today, because this is a giveaway. I cannot reply to questions under this video, but just go to any video and I can reply to you. Even if it says I can't, I just cannot reply to current giveaways. What I've decided to do since I've been on YouTube for seven years, I'm going to have seven winners. I kind of like having odd numbers. I've always, I kind of like odd numbers. So we're going to have seven winners and you're going to have your choice between two things. And you don't need to tell me now. You can either have a, I will buy you a Derma Roller, Matrixel 3000 and the Kakai Oil and have it sent to you. Or you can get a $50 e-gift card or deposit to your PayPal or Venmo account. So I'm going to have seven winners. And all you have to do to be entered in this giveaway is leave a comment below and use the word favorite. I'd like to know your favorite fruit, your favorite anything, your favorite television show. Just use the word favorite and make sure you type it out and put it in a sentence. And make sure you leave it below this video. And good luck to all winners. It is good. Thank you so much for your time and I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. I was able to say, say um, and eventually there may not be any on my, um, and I just do it on the top of my face. And none of them are, I get at least two 